Hi everyone, it's Joanna. Today's video is going to be a fun and exciting one as I will be sharing with you my top coconut fragrances in my collection. Just to let you know, coconut is one of my favorite notes in a fragrance along with sandalwood and vanilla. So this video is actually quite tough to do because I only have to pick my top 10 and I am very happy of the outcome of today's selection. Um, tell me, when you hear the word coconut in a fragrance, don't you think about holidays or like tropical vibes? I agree with you, but I think that coconut is not just about tropical and summer vibes. There's a lot of coconut dominant fragrances that can be used daily as well or something that gives a sophisticated vibe that is good enough to use in a special location. I have this kind of fragrances to share with you guys today. Um, in today's video, there's a lot of designers and just a little bit of niche, so most of them are affordable. Without further ado, let's just get this video started. Let's start with coconut that will definitely give you the tropical vibes, okay? And this is my choice for that vibe. Coco Vanille by Mancera. This is basically coconut dominant fragrance that has that suntan lotion vibe with sweet vanilla. This is the kind of coconut I think that everyone envisions um, to smell like. Yes, it is tropical, it is sunscreeny, and it is very sweet as well. So if you are not into sweet perfumes, you might not like this one. But to me, this is just that perfect coconut summer vibe kind of fragrance. This has tiare flower, coconut, of course, some white peach, ylang ylang, jasmine. The jasmine is the most prominent um, floral note in this fragrance. Mm, white musk and just that heavy dose of sweet vanilla. My favorite thing about this fragrance is that it lasts for a very long time. Yes, it is giving you that synthetic vibe that is normal in a Mancera perfume, but this one performs. It will last you the entire day. If you use this in a beach, it will definitely survive under the heat. I love layering this with my Sol de Janeiro um, fragrance mist. And if you're watching my video, you know that I love that fragrance. However, it's not included in today's video. I love layering them together because the Bomb Bomb fragrance mist doesn't last for a very long time. However, if they're layered together, they last for a very long time. Just love this and will definitely recommend this if you are looking for a tropical suntan coconut lotion kind of fragrance. Coco Vini by Mancera. Another coconut fragrance that is creaming summer vibe is Almond Coconut by Laura Mercier. Mm, this has almond and coconut, of course. Those two notes are very um, distinguishable in this fragrance, as well as the heliotrope, because there's some powderiness in this fragrance as well, and I think that powderiness is coming from the heliotrope. It's the kind of almond and coconut combo that smells luxurious to me. This fragrance reminds me of like Maldives. It is giving me that water bungalow vibe. You know, the kind of holidays where you pay a full board and you don't really get out of your water bungalow. You are getting served daily meals in your bungalow. So, you know, having said that, you just have to be yourself. This to me just smells luxurious and 
elegant but not trying this is like something from within this to me is such a cozy and luxury coconut and almond combo that is giving me that summer vibes mm. the longevity is quite moderate on this one let's say four to six hours however it stays forever on clothes this layered with the almond coconut body cream of laura mercier is like heaven guys um i love this for me this is a perfect effortless luxury coconut fragrance highly recommend almond coconut by laura mercier or oh, the next fragrance is quite new to me i don't have yet a big bottle of this but i think it really deserves a spot in today's video and this is Posale by Tio Cabanel. Mm. This to me is a coconut and aquatic kind of fragrance that will remind you of a Mediterranean holiday. I love this one. This to me is salty, aquatic, and watery kind of fragrance perfect for a summer holiday it has some marine quality in it that will definitely remind you of the sea this is a very well balanced coconut salt and marine vibes i will definitely purchase a full bottle because i don't have anything like this in my collection dry down of this has a creaminess in it this has a coconut water note, so it is not your typical creamy coconut i am enjoying this a lot this is a kind of fragrance that reminds me of nice in france mm, the coast the french Riviera. i definitely recommend this one if you are into aquatic kind of fragrance um, with a coconut twist. So that is Eau Salé by Tio Cabanel. Next fragrance is definitely not a tropical kind of coconut fragrance, but this to me is very summery. And I'm talking about Garden by Dolce and Gabbana. Mm. I love this one. This is such a light, fun, and sweet fragrance. Mm, I must say that it has that sweet vanilla as well, um, paired with that creamy coconut, almond, and sandalwood. This has creaminess in it that I think is coming from the sandalwood mm, and the almond milk it is so so good and perfectly blended with coconut nut guys mm. very feminine fragrance this is perfect to use when you're going on a date during the day a brunch or like i don't know a barbecue in the garden mm. this is so good this is one of my most favorite um designer fragrance as well in my collection last pretty decent let's say around four to six hours and guys it stays on clothes this is just very sweet feminine elegant yet light and airy coconut dominant fragrance um garden by dulce and gabbana so now we are going to the category of coconut fragrances that are perfect to use daily and the first one will be um, Alien Goddess Intense by Muggler. A lot of you think that this is a fragrance that will definitely give you that tropical vibe. Um, but to me, to be honest, I feel like this is something that can be used on a daily basis. Especially like, you know, if you love jasmine and you love a fragrance that screams femininity this is the fragrance for you the most prominent notes 
to my nose are coconut, jasmine, benzoin, and vanilla. Mm. I'll be honest guys, when I first tried this fragrance, I really didn't like it. The jasmine note in here is very sharp and strong in the opening and it will last for like let's say half an hour then after that half an hour you will be left with that creamy coconut and vanilla combo and the jasmine will just be in the background it is beautiful guys um it took me time to really appreciate this perfume but now i am really enjoying it mm. this is just so versatile this is perfect to use to go to the beach to go to the office to go on a date to go brunch with your girlfriends and for any seasons as well um in my opinion actually this one performs better when it's a little bit chilly outside um you know when it's not too humid because i feel like when it's too hot outside this fragrance can be kind of like headache inducing if you spray a lot but if you use this when it's a little bit chilly like for example springtime or like you know early fall this perfume shines. The coconut in here is so creamy. It is very well blended with the jasmine and vanilla. It's so beautiful, guys. I highly recommend Alien Goddess Intense um, by Muggler. Next perfume to me is the perfect unisex coconut fragrance. And guys, this is so inexpensive. I'm talking about um, Regal White by Zara. Um, if you watch my channel, you know that I love this perfume and I recommend it a lot because it is just so good and I know not a lot of people talk about this. Uh, guys, this is so cooling and refreshing because of that coconut water note in here. It is very watery and what I mean by that is that it is not aquatic or marine-like. To me, this is watery coming from the coconut water. You will definitely feel that you are splashed with coconut water. Mm. This is woody as well. And the fig is prominent in the opening of this fragrance. Um, but the dry down is very nutty because of the chestnut note so if you are not a fan of nutty kind of fragrance then you might not like this one this is a creation of natalie lorson as well for zara you can definitely feel um the vibe of natalie in this fragrance and in my opinion this is very unique guys um men and women can wear this and it is something that can be worn all year round um yes this is the unisex easy grab coconut dominant fragrance that i will recommend um regal white by zara by the way this one lasts for around four to six hours with moderate projection the next fragrance is something i will call a coconut and musky scent and i'm talking about arizona bloom by floral street if you love coconut however you work in an environment wherein you have to be working closely to people you know like for example you work in a hospital or anywhere else that you do a lot of contact with people and you want something just inoffensive you want a coconut fragrance that is inoffensive that is perfect for daily use this is it guys this has a very intimate scent profile okay so if you are looking for something loud this won't be your girl this to me is like the very light and airy version of another 13 
This is just a lighter version of that. And of course, this has coconut in it. It is so pretty, guys. I love this fragrance. I just think that this is not a typical coconut kind of fragrance as well. That's why I put this on the list. This will last you two to four hours, but you can just respray. A lot of people get pissed if they have to respray, but I know there's people out there who don't mind to respray and prefer that intimate scent profile as well. To me, this is a lightly salted coconut with some pepper and musk scent that is just perfect for daily use. Arizona Bloom by Floral Street. Next fragrance is for daily use, but however, this is something that will kind of grab attention. This is Ariana Grande's Cloud Intense 2.0. This is creamy coconut plus the burnt sugar Baccarat Rouge 540. I love this, guys. Actually, let me spray it on me. So this will be like my scent of the day. Mm. This is very light and the airy version of Baccarat Rouge 540 plus the added coconut note. Mm. It is so good, guys. This is my favorite celebrity perfume as well. It has coconut, it has praline, it has bergamot vanilla cashmere and, and some musk this one projects and it's very inexpensive i highly recommend you trying this one out this lasts for quite a long time like around six to eight hours and it lasts for a very long time on clothes your coconut and burnt sugar kind of fragrance that will grab attention. Cloud Intense 2.0 by Ariana Grande. Now, I'm gonna talk about a fragrance that is prominent with my top three favorite notes. Santal Vani by The Seven Virtues. This is a kind of coconut that I enjoy wearing in the fall and winter time. This is creamy, but not lactonic, and I love it. It has cardamom as well, which is just perfectly blended with sandalwood, vanilla, mm, and coconut. There's a sensuality coming from the mere oil and labdanum as well. I love this fragrance, guys. Mm. This is extremely unisex, in my opinion. I love the comfort and the coziness that it gives me. The creaminess that I feel here, I think is coming from the sandalwood and the coconut then blended together is, is just a dream, guys. I highly recommend this one. And I feel like if I have to create a fragrance, it will be something that is close to this. My favorite coconut and sandalwood combo. Santalvani by The Seven Virtues. So now we are down to the last one and I think this is my favorite coconut dominant fragrance in my collection and it is a designer fragrance. Um, the only one intense Eau de Parfum by Dolce and Gabbana. Uh, it's so good. This is a sophisticated, creamy, white, floral, and coconut combo. This has a very prominent neroli and orange blossom note in the opening, but then it is very well blended with the coconut, vanilla, cashmere wood, and cedar. Mm. For me, this is my kind of coconut. It evokes sensuality and sophistication in my opinion this to me can be an ultimate date night scent this can be a signature scent as well i enjoy wearing this in the summertime and in the winter as well 
I don't have any issues with longevity and projection when it's cold outside. Um, this perfume lasts on me, let's say around six to eight hours. I highly recommend you trying this one out. Um, and this is not expensive as well, I must say, because it's been out for a very long time. Um, yeah, so this is my sensual date night coconut fragrance. Dolce and Gabbana, the only one intense eau de parfum. So that is the video for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would like to know what is your favorite coconut dominant fragrance? Please write me in the comments down below because I am always looking for that perfect coconut fragrance to add in my collection. That's all for the video today, guys, and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Bye!